Revit has a property that allows it to hide elements as well as reveal hidden elements. To hide an element in Revit, in this case, we're going to go into this 3D view. The element I'd like to hide is going to be the roof. Move your mouse over to the edge of the roof and then click when you get to select on the roof. Whenever you select on the roof, it gives a certain transparency level so we can see through it. But for this instance, I just want to hide the roof. Once it's been selected on, you can come down to the bottom of the screen and click on this temporary hide isolate button. It looks like a pair of little eyeglasses. Now there's four different things that we can do. Ultimately, we'll pick on hide element, and that's just gonna hide this thing that we have selected. We could isolate the element, which will only show the object that we have selected. We could hide the category, which would hide all the roofs in the project. So not only would this roof hide, but this roof over here would hide as well. Or we could isolate the category, which would mean only the roofs in the project would show up. In this case, I just want to hide the roof. So I'm going to select on hide element. Another example of where we might want to use that would be in the case of this wall here. We might want to select on the wall just so that we can see through the wall to get a better idea as to what's behind it. When you select on it, it does give it a transparency level, so you may not need to hide it. But if you do, once again, you can come back down to the bottom of the screen and select hide element again. And now it's just going to hide that wall. Now, if we want to get these walls back in a hurry, we can do it. Come down here, select the temporary hide isolate button. And if you select on reset temporary hide isolate, those objects will immediately come back. Another option that we have, though, is to be able to hide the entire category of object or be able to hide it permanently. If we do that, we just move our mouse over, and in this case, I'm going to hide the topography. So I zoomed out, I'm going to select on the site, come down here to the little eyeglasses, and in this case, we're going to hide this element. It's hidden, but there's a property about temporary hide isolate that I should let you know. Just because it's temporarily hidden, and we can tell that by the cyan color border around the edge, it's still going to plot. If we don't want this object to plot and we want it to stay hidden, we click on the little eyeglasses again and apply the hide isolate to the view. Now it'll stay hidden inside of this view. And if we decided to spin this around by holding shift down as well as the wheel, we'll be able to look at this from any direction without the sight getting in the way of our line of vision. But there's a very good chance though that we'll want to at some point bring this sight back. Unfortunately, though, after we've applied the height isolate to the view, we can no longer tell it to reset the temporary height isolate because, well, it's already been applied. So to bring it back, we have to click the button right next to the little eyeglasses, which is Reveal Hidden Elements. So if you select the little light bulb tool, here we can see everything that was hidden in the view. And in this case, the main thing is going to be the site. So if you select back on that site, Come up here on the ribbon and then select Unhide Element. That site at this point has now come back. If we click off of it now, we can see it's no longer that color that it was. It's the same color as everything else in the view. Now you can either click on the big X or come back down here and click on the light bulb and we can see that the site has now been brought back in the view. So if you want to be able to hide or be able to see only specific objects, all you have to do is select on that object first. I've selected on a little bush. Select on the little eyeglasses. I'm going to select on isolate element. And now only that one plant right there is showing up. If you want to bring it back, if you've applied the hide isolate to the view, then you'll need to select on the reveal hidden elements tool, which looks like a little light bulb to bring it back. But if you haven't applied the hide isolate to the view, just select reset temporary hide isolate and everything else in your view will come back into the scene.